Hey everyone, my name is Austin Wren and I am a grad student working under Dr. Mark Hoffman looking at different substrates for greenhouse strawberry production. So I grew up on a small family produce farm and we've grown strawberries since the early 80s. After college, I was uh, offered a job with an international ag company doing greenhouse strawberry production. So I had the amazing opportunity to work uh, in various growing regions around the world doing greenhouse production of fruits and vegetables, specifically focused on strawberries. So I talked with Dr. Hoffman uh, and we came up with a plan to, to do some strawberry research. Here in North Carolina, we have a nursery industry that uses a lot of pine bark and wood fibers. And so we were interested to see if that was a possibility for strawberries. And we started working with those substrates. We tested six different substrate options uh, for my research, but I was able to grow some, some pretty good quality strawberries out of it that we sold on our farm. And the next year I uh, then designed a raised gutter system. So it was off of the ground in pipes uh, filled with substrate. And that kind of got me started in uh, the, the tabletop or raised production. Uh, and then I, I never quite stopped uh, innovating we were able to successfully grow greenhouse strawberries and all of the tested substrates. There were certain substrates that did perform better, so we saw uh, fairly high yields in our European peat-based mix, which is an industry standard uh, in Europe, so that kind of went along with our results. And, but we also saw fairly good yields uh, in our second replicate uh, with our 50-50 um, mixes of peat and bark and peat and wood fiber. So we assessed a number of different parameters um, ranging from the bricks level of the fruit to the pH or EC which is the fertilizer content of our substrates and our drainage water uh, to the actual yield the marketable versus the seconds um, or coal uh, yield that we got from our from each of our different replicates and we grew all of these plants inside of a mid-tech uh, strawberry uh, greenhouse in eastern North Carolina kind of typical of uh, our growing region recently I was actually elected as the president of the North Carolina Strawberry Growers Association where I have the amazing opportunity to work across our entire strawberry industry in, in this state as well as the southeast uh, with many different growers and I enjoy the opportunity to see my research uh, put into practice on other farms and see how uh, they can bring innovation to their crops and to their, their farms, to their families. 